Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to create a swept surface using a direction vector. Let's start with a 3D sketch. Select the Rectangle tool. I want to sketch my rectangle on the ZX plane, so let's tab until I get there and drop my rectangle here. Apply dimensions now. The longer side will be 120 millimeters. OK. And the shorter dimension will be 110 millimeters. OK. Right click and select to exit the dimension tool. To fully define the sketch, we're going to need to apply some relations. Let's do that along the x axis and along the z axis. Now activate the line tool. I'm going to create a couple lines along the y axis. Right click and select. Close the tool. One more line. Right click and select. Let's apply dimensions now. This line will make 100 millimeters. And our first line will make 50 millimeters. OK. Right click and select to close the tool. And now let's window select all of the lines and convert them to construction geometry. Now I'm going to use the spline tool. And I'm going to connect these points on the sketch with a spline. Right click and select to exit the spline. Let's exit the sketch as well. Now I'm going to insert a support plane. Reference Geometry, Plane. Let's select this point and this curve. OK. Now let's right click and create a sketch on my new plane. Activate the Line tool. Right click and select to close the Line tool. Dimensions, 20 millimeters here. The shorter line will make 10 millimeters. OK. Exit the sketch. And let's zoom to fit. Right click and hide the plane. And let's activate the swept surface tool. For the profile, I'm going to use this sketch. For the path, the spline. Notice our profile is twisted. Let's go to Options. Under Orientation, I'm going to select Follow Path. Path alignment type, I'll select Direction Vector. And then I choose my vector. I'm going to select this line. Or I could also select the top plane. Let's click OK. This concludes our lesson about creating a surface sweep using a direction vector.